Hi, everybody. I am Heidi and I am a Saint Artist and today I am gonna go all pink. I just touched up and added a little more pink to my hair today and I'm wearing some pink shorts and so we are just gonna go have a lot of fun with some pinks. And if you're watching this in replay, make sure you say hashtag replay. Let me know where you are watching from. I am just using a little bit of marula oil. <laughs> This sometimes helps with my, so my hair doesn't get frizzy after I blow dry and stuff. So, okay. So I am going to do my quick highlight and contour and then play with some pinks. I don't have a lot of time, um, but I'm using my customizable compact and everything I need is in here except the eyeshadows I'm using today. I didn't have time to, um, switch out what shades I have in my palette. So I am not going to use everything from my palette today because I have so many eyeshadows. I can't keep them all in this one palette, but normally I would have all of the eyeshadows that I plan to um, use maybe for that weekend or whatever, if I'm traveling, they would all be in my one compact. I'm kind of warm. Let me turn on a fan quick. Hopefully it's not... I'm always afraid it's going to be too loud, but I don't want it. I'm hot. So I'm actually just doing a little bit of color correcting. I have some unevenness and redness, and I have found that tan lines bronzer, if I put that all over my face first, it actually helps neutralize and even out everything before I put on my main highlight shade. Okay. So that you can barely tell, but it really just like evened out my skin tone and it's gonna have a nice little canvas for me to put on my makeup. So I'm gonna go in with my highlight and contour um, with, sorry, I'm just gonna do my highlight first. Um, and I am just gonna blend as I go. So I'm just putting it on and then I'm just tapping. Let me zoom in just a little bit so you can see more what I'm doing. Okay, now, the colors that I'm using for my highlight might not be your color. Um, if you have not been color matched yet, um, I would love to give you suggestions of what color highlight and contour. And then when I also shade match you, I will give you suggestions for um, lip and cheeks that I think that will look great on you, especially like going into fall. I can give you a few that I think will look great. Um, also, um, eyeshadows and illuminators and all the jazz, all of it. And the awesome thing is, is I can send you those suggestions, but then you can go in and I send you a link. It will take you right to our palette builder. It's on our website and it will show you what the palette would look like, but you can go in and click on each item, see what item, what it's called. And then if you're like, oh, nope, I don't really like it. You can say remove item and then you can go through the list and add in other things that you like better. So I think it's so much fun to completely customize and personalize that compact, be exactly what you want. So you're not wasting any um, of your money and product getting you know a palette with a few colors that you don't like so i just put a little bit of tan line bronze tan line bronzer on my neck here too because i just have like a white spot here over the summer when i got tan apparently this area just never got burned don't mind my super red ears right now um whenever i get hot my ears turn red does that happen for anyone else i don't know why it does Okay, so I just put my highlight all over. So even now, I love that that um, that my redness is neutralized and it just doesn't stand out anymore. I forgot to say I'm using my blush and bronzer brush. This is like my go-to brush because it's just so good. I just absolutely love it. So now I'm going to go in with my contour and I put it on from temple to temple. I even bring it in a little bit on the sides like so just to like not lose that 3d shape of my face um when you're just using that one highlight shade i feel like you just lose all of that shape and dimension that our faces naturally have so by adding in this little bit of contour it just 
really gives a little more definition to some of our beautiful facial features. So I'm just going into my cheekbone, just right under that. And I probably brought it a little too low here, so we're gonna fix that up here in a second. So I'm just blending that in. And then, like I said, this is how you fix up that contour. If you accidentally bring it down too low or go in too far, I just take my highlight shade and I'm just gonna snatch it up right there. Let me get a little more. Right there. Okay. Okay. So today I'm actually in a little bit taking my daughter for her birthday party with some of her friends to the mall. You guys look at ooh, the fans hitting me. Um, we're going shopping at the mall. We go, of course, have to go to Claire's and pick out little toys, trinkets, whatever they find, right? And so we're going to go do that. And so I just want to do kind of a light look, I'm not going too dramatic on my, um, on like, why can't I talk? <laughs> on my contour. I am going to go in with a little bit of my bronzer here and this is Bella and I'm just going to kind of swirl it on my forehead where the sun naturally hits um, and then also on my cheekbone or like on the tops of my cheeks where the sun naturally hits my nose and my chin like so just really light. It still looks super natural. I just love that it warms up my face a little bit more. Love it. Okay. I got a few minutes still. Okay. I am going to grab some lip conditioner quick. Now for a while over the summer, I stopped using my bronzer because I was naturally tan already, but I'm already, I already had to shade down um, a little bit with my um, highlight. So if you are noticing that your coloring just isn't looking right um, because you haven't been out in the sun as much as, um, as you had been over the last few months like I had, let me know and I can always recolor match you. Super simple, just send me that no makeup selfie. Okay, so for my lips, the, I'm doing my go-to color here. I'm gonna grab Nude which is a beautiful, it's right, this one right here, beautiful satin, and I'm gonna do this right above my contour. I'm gonna mix and match a bunch of colors today. I'm also going to feature our shade of the month. Every month, Saint has a um, lip and cheek of the month, the shade of the month, they call it. And this month, September, is hopelessly devoted. I'm gonna use it today show you how beautiful it is. Um, but I'm first gonna actually put down my go-to colors. I need to come up with a name for it. So it's Nude and Ruby together. I think it's such a pretty pink. Isn't that gorgeous? So pretty. I'm a blush girl, if you can't tell. <clears throat> but I'm gonna do the same colors on my lips. Okay, so I'm gonna just use my finger. So nude is this really pretty brownish pinkish purpley color. <laughs> and then I'm gonna go into Ruby and it makes the most beautiful pink color I have ever seen. Isn't that beautiful? But today we're gonna top it off with Hopelessly Devoted. Now Hopelessly Devoted um, is like a glossy, it's a light pink, but it's very glossy. So it has, um, I call it like a frosted pink. I think it's really pretty. I don't wear it on its own a lot. I just like to use it as like a topper to add a little extra shimmer and shine. You see how it's just adding a little frostedness to it? Does that, hopefully you can see it. So pretty. So those three colors, Nude, Ruby, and Hopelessly Devoted. Now I'm going to also use Hopelessly Devoted as my, um, my illuminator today. I'm just going to tap it on the high points of my cheeks right here just to catch the light. And then on my other cheek. 
Isn't that pretty? Just such a youthful glow. The tip of my nose, maybe a little bit of my bridge here. So nice. Would you guys wear this mix? I think it's so pretty. Okay, let's do a fun pink eye. Let me look at the time. I have like three minutes. Okay, so let me grab out my colors and my brushes here quick. I am gonna grab my eyeshadow brush. Let me clean it off just a little bit. Are we back? Okay, we're back, hopefully. My Wi-Fi has just been awful lately, you guys. I have not been a fan of my Wi-Fi. Okay, so I am actually going to, hi Tori, thanks for hopping on. So the pinks I'm going to play with, let me grab, uh, here we go. Okay, we're going to play with cranberry and sis and where's my pomegranate, pomegranate. Nope, that's the wrong one, must be in one of my other ones. Let me find it quick. Here we go. Okay, so actually, yeah, let's do pomegranate. So pomegranate, cranberry, and cis. So I am going to put cranberry all over my lid, tap it off. And I'm kind of just pressing it on here. And I'm just gonna take it up to my lid. Cause it's pretty dark. Okay, and then on the other side, cranberry is such a pretty color. And look at, like I can keep it pretty light like that or you can build it up and add, um, and we make it even darker. Okay. Then I have nothing on the fluffy end of my brush and I am just going to go in my crease and just kind of feather it up and out a little bit just so there's not like a harsh line there. And to kind of blend it up without almost like an ombre effect, like bring a little of that color up. That could be so pretty on its own, right? Okay, and I just realized I didn't curl my eyelashes and I'm gonna do that quick before I get too much color on here. And then my daughter's friends should be getting here very soon. Okay, good enough. Okay, then I am gonna take pomegranate and I'm just going to darken like the outer corner of my eye just very little there's like too much on here so make sure I'm going to top off any excess I have okay and I just got it all over it I'll clean that up later okay so I'm just going to darken this outer corner and then I'm going to also use it as my liner down here we are going all pinks today having fun with pink because why not, right? Okay, you guys, I'm just tapping this on the outside. I am like not great with eyeshadows. And then just a little bit underneath. And then we are going to blend it out and just swirl it until I get it so it's not so harsh. Do, do, do. And then we're gonna add the shimmer and sparkle of Sis. If you do not have Sis, ladies, oh my goodness, you need it. You'll see why. Okay, so right now it seemed like super dark, right? There's lots of dark pinks going on, but now we're gonna add Sis in and it's gonna be like beautiful. Look at that beautifulness. Love Sis. This is probably my favorite sparkly pink. So I'm gonna get a bunch on my finger here and I'm just gonna press it on the inner eye and bring it about halfway on my lid. Isn't that gorgeous? Love it. You could even use this as an illuminator. Do you think I should put it on like an illuminator on top of that hopelessly devoted? I wonder if I should, maybe not. 
You totally could though. You could take any of these sparkly eyeshadows and use it as an illuminator. Isn't that gorgeous? Gorgeous. Okay, I'm gonna wipe off my big end here um, of my fluffy end of the eyeshadow brush and I'm just gonna lightly, like I'm gonna pull that over just so it blends nice. See how simple that was? Okay, I'm gonna put it here and I'm gonna blend it over. Just not back and forth, but I'm gonna blend it to the side. What do we think of this pink combination? Isn't it gorgeous? Okay, last but not least, I am gonna grab Drift. Drift is a beautiful champagne. Um, do I have it right here? Yes like a champagne shimmer it is so beautiful um, I have used this one as an illuminator before and I'm just gonna put some on my finger and I'm just gonna put it here on the inner corner like so and I am gonna blend it out just a little bit just so it's not so harsh but look at how that just brightens up that it's middle middle area of your face and then I'm going to put a little bit up here and that is just going to lift up and catch some light right there under um, your brows and on that brow bone isn't that so pretty I'm loving this okay so if you want to try any of these colors out I have the link in the description shop anytime if you want to get color matched um, that link will take you to um, a color match request form and um, you just fill it out, um, submit your no makeup selfie. I am going to add on my mascara here. Don't forget that there is those fall bundles that Saint put together that are just so gorgeous. I have been featuring them in my beauty group. I've shown them a few here on my business page as well but check them out there is some savings if you decide to get the whole collection so it's always nice to save a little money right but they also go towards compact credit so you can even get a compact for cheap or discount or for like discounted or even possibly free depending on how many tins you get which is awesome okay i'm just gonna finish off with this mascara quick and then i'm gonna head out the door um, with those collections, if you go onto the website, they have tutorials so you can get an idea of how to recreate the looks using those collections. And so I have found those to be super helpful. I always learn so much by watching other people do their makeup as well. So check those out. You can always get any of those colors um, by themselves. Okay. So there's my beautiful pink look. So good. Um, I hope you're all having a great weekend and I will talk to you all soon. Thanks for watching.